Welcome, Dragon Champions, to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am here. It is Seahawk Sunday. Look who I have to <laughs> my left. It is Carnifex hey. or Nerd This. We are together. We are here to make a video. I am so excited to have you here. You and I are in the same guild. We're both officers in the same guild. We just finished our yep. T7 raid today. Yes, uh, we and did. I have a webcam. I've always had a webcam, but I don't like to use it, um, primarily because I don't want to show everybody my bald head. But, you know, it's all good. <laughs> So, but it is Seahawks Sunday. I got Carnifex. We got some great stuff going on. We have been talking a lot about T7 raids, uh, how the state of the game is, what's going on with the new legendaries. We're going to get into all that. But before we do that, if you are not subscribed to this gentleman, his link is in the description below. Make sure you hit the go to that link, go to his channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. If you're new around here to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Give us some comments. Let us know what you're thinking. But Carnifex, tell us, man, we just finished T7 and you really spearheaded a lot of that for our guild. What went into that? Yeah, so you know, yeah, me and the the GL couple have collected a lot of data, and that's that's one of the main things is you got to collect data if you want to be able to get T seven done as soon as possible, right? We had the the benefit of having some guilds in front of us get it done. They were able to kind of confirm some of the theory crafting that we had done, so that we could be more focused by the time by by the, by the time we so we would reach T seven capability sooner. But once you kind of get to that point, you got to collect data. Uh, based on what we've seen, you can. You'll of course, you would a, say. Of course, you would say collect data, right? I know, right? Of course, Shocker. you would say collect data. Uh, <laughs> get a spreadsheet. Uh, get a get an Excel spreadsheet. Get that done. The can the, the the channel's called Nerd This for a reason, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, you have to got to collect data. You're going to see about a 20, 25 percent drop in your T six, um, uh, damage generation. So if you're putting out excuse me, million damage, you're going to only get out 800,000, right? Okay. In the next one or 500, more, more, more practically like 500,000. So you see it translate to 400,000. I was expecting to see way harder hits. It was the main thing I think I was expecting to see that I didn't see. It really did feel pretty linearly scaled. Like well, that's good. It, it, and I felt that way too. It didn't feel, yeah, it didn't feel dramatically like, harder. I did in my normal team that I bring in when I'm doing Solius. So I'm a wave one Solius. Uh, attacker mm -hmm. and so when right. i went in and i have my attacks i actually did yesterday anybody who was in the live stream yesterday saw that i was changing people out bringing in new people in and trying to make sure i got my eight percent and i ended up doing almost 10 percent damage a little over three hundred and fifty thousand damaged in solius which is exactly right. where i need to be to be able to help the guild out and do that sort of thing but what did we see yesterday on my channel? I did a Revel and Snorri video. Anybody who did that, right? right I said, I, it was a depressing, it was depressing to me because we have, I love these two characters. I, I do. I use them on my team. Yes. Snorri gets, is just gets smashed by magic damage. He's so squishy. He's yeah. very, very squishy, but now I can use these free to play characters and I can solo the raid. I don't I think know, this is right? good for the game. What do you think? Yeah, so no, I, me and Meta actually, his um, Meta though, he's he's the guy who made the videos uh, that were put out recently with uh, him soloing Solius and Hard Work. It was like basically the same team, a couple swaps. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, again, people kind of theory crafted this, but most of us are still working on building those test accounts. But Meta had gone in and shown like, hey, you use these characters, a little bit of RNG, not crazy RNG though. You can get it done. Well, and I've done and them. Then, I've done them both yeah, on my test account. Yeah, right. It's and not hard. It, yeah. I did it just yeah. click and point and click and point. There's really no thought process did involved. Need, did you even need to like do a second run to get the right RNG or nope. just first run? First yeah, run so did it. And that's definitely not good for the game because that makes it so that one whale, right, can just carry the whole freaking, right. you know, guild. You know, they can take out because they can take they can use that one team, knock out all of Solius, make that swap, go in and I've taken all the hard work and I'm even going to go in and I'm going to take out a third of Mega Wheel. Like right. just out of, out of, out the gate. Now and, I show um, with Mega Wheel. I tried to do that on my test account. I went in and tried, and I showed the, oh, he is very RNG dependent, and I couldn't get more than sure. 10, 20, 15 percent. It was very difficult. That was really RNG dependent. The other two, you're absolutely right. right. It was just massive. Uh, right. You know, just it was easy, and it, there was no yeah, thought process toasting. involved. It was well, nothing. 
So and I that's what Meta was. So Meta got contacted and basically said there's going to be a tenacity buff to these bosses. Okay. So um, if if you guys played Galaxy of Heroes, we had the Rancor right for a long time. It wasn't that you couldn't solo. You could crank out some significant damage. And the thing that changed it was that they added Tie Fighter Pilot, who had tenacity. He uh, on tenacity crit down with right? his basic. He yeah. put tenacity down, and that allowed you to actually apply those debuffs and reduce that turn meter reliably. I think that once we, because they've the devs have talked about how a second raid is in the works. It's one of their main priorities, um, content wise, as opposed to like fixes and stuff. And uh, so they, I think, once we get close to that second one being released, or maybe even after, we'll eventually see a character get released with a tenacity decrease, just to make it so we can put more of attention towards the second raid. And um, and just the the other thing I'll say for those of you trying to do this T seven for Arachar. You've got to make sure to prioritize the right characters. It's really easy for most people to have kind of like the best case scenario, non-soloing, right? Right. Um, a hard work team. And basically our plan is to rotate who's doing hard work and who's doing Mega Wheel because your hard work team works against Mega Wheel, especially right. using Freeze Art, turn meter reduction coming from there. You still got the slow from him. Um, it works. It's just not as good because of all the TMR, uh, turn meter generation that comes from right. Mega Wheel. Solius is the hardest, and you he might is. even have some people with killer hardware teams. Well, and I'm one of them. Like a, I'm one oh, of them, right? right. And that's yeah, where I'm and at. And have you, a I, mediocre, yeah. yeah, you can have a mediocre Solius team, but you got there's just if you don't you have, have to work at seven stars, you're really not going to be able to crank out anything like what these other people are going well. to. Yeah. And that's me. I mean, in my, in my case, I have the hard orc at seven stars. I have him geared up. All right. He, not even, he's not even that hard, that, that great. I mean, even in, in my numbers, right. I did 250,000 damage. I did almost 10% to the boss and most of my guys are gear nine or less. Um, right. I have rebel who's good. Um, who's at, at gear. I think he's at gear nine and, uh, and I have hard orc at gear nine. And then of course I have a gear 10 Tromgar. And so that really, really helped. So now, if we're talking about other things that obviously we're we we I think we both agree that it's bad for the game to have um you know the ability to solo these at this point yeah. yes because we don't have another raid it's not like we have the tank raid coming up in the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes that now we can all go to the tank raid and sure we can solo it with you know uh with uh, with, uh, with Commander Luke now Commander by Luke, himself or even like you know wigs, way right back. wigs yeah exactly or like wigs and so now if we're going to talk about what else could also be good for the game is a 330 unlock good yes. for the game is it good for the game or is it bad for the game we have this new legendary character you've made it pretty clear that you believe it's going to be murdoch i think right. you're right i didn't make a video on it because i just think you're right um <laughs> i i do i think that the goblins need a lot of help and even if murdoch yeah, comes out or is murdoch really gonna, if murdoch comes out is it really going to make goblins that much better and i would say no better. i say no because you still need thanessa you need a healer we need a healer yeah, for that faction but that's just my opinion what do you think yeah so uh which just if anyone's like watching a 330 unlock in january is not a question mark um it is confirmable as of less than two weeks ago the devs saying yeah we're gonna have a three the the, the new legendary event which you know, so we have Solius right at the beginning of January. The mm -hmm. new legendary, event, not a repeat one, is going to be a 330 shard legendary. Um, we only have three options. You got Mordoom, General Murdoch, and Buff. Mordoom doesn't really make sense because we already have orcs built up. The gotcha game logic says it's not going to be incentivizing you to get a character to go with ones you already have built up. So you got um, more, um, General Murdoch and you got Buff. Um, Buff, I think... If they add him in, it just decreases the urgency to get Shadar because he's the other demon's leader. Right. You'd already have him at seven stars. So what's and he does do some crazy TMR stuff. I mean, his I mean, for anyone who's tried to clear the last stage of demons, you know how irritating that like buff debuff stream is from him. And um, I think he's I think he's a little I think he's strong in the General Murdoch, even though General Murdoch is definitely good. And that's specifically with um 
with PvP considerations. Now in right. PvE, I think it's a different story. And that's your strong that, suit, right? You're you're the PvE right. guy. That's well, where I go to. I go to your channel <laughs> to watch your well, stuff when I'm trying to make PvE decisions. Right. <laughs> right. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I tend to focus a little more on PvP right. and that aspect. But when I go to you, I'm like, how am I going to room for PvE? How am I going to attack PvE? How am I going to do my raid PvE? That's where I get all right. my information is from you on that. So, uh I but I don't see it being an issue. I I've heard you know if you, anybody watched Cubs Van Han Valley Flying, they their opinion was uh, another legendary. This is bad for the game. But if it's a three thirty unlock and it's one of these people and it's one of you know it's it's well, one of it's so either one thing, of these three. I don't see it affecting the game at all because even if know. it's goblins, they as a faction they need a healer and they don't have one. And right. But but the it's, question is, who do we who are they going to use to unlock? Do you have a guess on who do you think what faction you're going to need to unlock them? My guess is pandas. Yeah. And the reason why I think pandas well, yeah. is because we just had we just had a legendary event of Ember. Right. If you have right. Ember, you almost need to have Ember's damage to make pandas any good. And if you wailed and you have Ember, or if you were if you've been playing the game since the beginning and or, you have Ember, or, or if you got M seven star Ember with a gear 11 ninety L and gear eight everything else, that's what I did. That's what I did. I was I went in. I did it live on stream, and I wasn't able to get. I got six and barely. And people were like, "How in the heck did you finish that fight?" Yeah. And then I or put just a, seven, seven, I just yeah. put a little bit of a little bit more in there. I did have to bump my ninety. Or my, uh, I did have to bump Kelrian up a little bit, just a little. I mean, to the next gear. I think he's gear nine now, and that I was able to go in there second try, and I didn't even make a video of it because it happened, and I was so unexpected. I wasn't recording or anything. I just went in and did it, and went, oh, did okay. It, yeah. All right, that works. I'm happy with nice. it. Yeah, and so I, I had to put a little more into my guys. Yeah, yeah. Really in order to be able to get there, but. Um, yeah, no, I, I think the having a 330, the main thing I think is the question for the devs, right, is how much do they want to help us clear this T7? Do they want to leave it as a strong incentive or do they want to help people accelerate? If they wanted to help people accelerate, you throw in Buff, Murdoch, or Fenella. Uh, she is, I mean, when I say she neuters Soleus, there's right. not a way, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not over exaggerating. She neuters Soleus because of the AOE um, ability block from one of her specials and because of the um, the buff immunity from her other one. Right. So it's she literally we just talked about making no taunts from tanks and no um, no self buff on Soleus to boost his speed, boost his tenacity. You can't do any crap against him. It's gone. So. If they wanted to, I, I think she's honestly, just because she's plug and play versus having you to invest in a whole faction. Yeah, she's um, going to be a I tier one character in my list, right? She's right going to be. A, and her yeah. leader is so much better as well than 90Ls for Elf. So, um, but they didn't. They're going with and Buff. And the reason why I think Buff is a little worse for PvE is just because the consistency. His whole thing is that it's all RNG, right? He's the dice roll guy. Right. You, you know, uh, the. There's so much RNG built into it that I think it would, whereas General Murdoch, there's much less. There's some, but there's much less. And um, I think that if we go ahead and I think I think General Murdoch makes the most sense. Right. Um, and I, and I, think I think you're absolutely right. He's but good, do you think it's good for the game? Term meter. Do you yeah, think it's I good think for the it's game? Fine. It's it's right now, as long as they have it. And this is the key thing we were talking about. So in my video, right, I called out human specifically but i put both humans and pandas in my top tier it incentivizes right. people to go not just five star unlock but seven star because you Correct. might need this five star to be a seven star to unlock a 330 um the five stars and help you get a 330 so i think it, it drives a little bit of that um and because we people have generally built up humans and pandas uh kin right. lee is great patriarch chi is great um Fow is like requires a lot of investment, but she's good whenever you get her there. Um, right. Like I, I boosted her dodge buff to like level four or five just for these weird random tournaments because it made my team like way more survivable. 
in humans, right? Freezard. Everybody's using Freezard because of the freaking raid, right? But you're assuming um, Solius, it sounds like when I, I, and I when I watched your video, I was right. like, yeah, humans make sense. And then I gave it some context. And I, these dev developers are amazing. They really are. They great. really are very friendly, family friendly. They are very player friendly. They so really don't do give us such a great. with no right. leader to right. unlock at three thirty. But I don't think they will. But they. But ultimately, no. you got to make money too, right? And if yeah. you're going to make money, and not a lot of people unlocked Ember because yes we had plenty of time but you had to put the money into characters that you didn't have built up right or they were or, longer farms or they like were longer Nidiel. farms like Nightingale. Right. right she as, as i put into my video yesterday about revel and snorri snorri's easily accessible but revel's not he's no, not uh, easily accessible no. so you kind of have and to i got wheel. shafted on my pulls from him too right. so like i only just got him to seven stars a little while ago right and i've had him it's and i and as we talked earlier you got real good luck on kara in your pools and i got good luck on yeah. revel so i've had revel but i didn't have kara and i had to farm kara um out of out of the shop and so it took me longer to get her and so that's kind of the way that goes but for me when i'm looking at it going all right we just had a legendary event of ember ember's good like she's really good but she's in a faction she's in a faction that needs to have a damage dealer but they have two really good right. characters already right they have patriarch chi which is would take right. he's not Grace easily accessible right? right but he's not great yeah he's not but he's not easily accessible and then no. you have but then and then you have ken lee who's really really accessible yeah. right and then all the other pandas kind of are too but nobody's so using the other... them for anything except for master duo who we do right. need him we need him for the raid and so right. now People what's the next faction that we got to build up what, who do we have to build up how do we make money how do we make money well humans as you said everybody's using them right everybody's using humans and people have them built up but who who do we not have built up? We don't have pandas and we just had a panda unlock. And so yeah. if you want to, if you, it, I don't, I would not begrudge them one bit if they said yes, pandas, uh, because people don't have pandas. Been meaner. Right. Been they could be, meaner. they could be way meaner, but if they do it that way, if they do humans, they love us and everybody's Literally, got humans. Just, yes. like, they I'm love us. My, right. Yeah, and I think it's wishful thinking. Video. I think it's wishful thinking. I think that pandas, like, we may end up actually, we don't have to get Shaolin up because Shaolin sucks, but we are going to have to do Foul, which Foul's actually pretty decent. Foul's got uh, Foul's yeah. a solid support. Yeah. yeah, and it has she has PVE considerations. Now, for me, when I usually do my videos, I'm talking about PvP, right? Are these characters good on a PvE or PvP scale? How are we ranking them down? I will rank them down when they're not very good in PvP as opposed to PvE. But Foul, while she doesn't have a lot of uses in PvP, I've seen her be no, in top teams. None. Yeah, but I've seen her in top teams where she puts out Dodge and she has Ken Lee, Patriarch Chi and Ken Lee, and then her and then Solius and Nightiel. And they're just blowing everybody away and they have all this sustainability. I've seen that in my own shard when it's and it's annoying, but it's you can take care of it with the human meta, right? You can take care of it with your Solius, your Nightiel, your um you know your oh her your cruel and you know tromgar uh you can and freezer you can take care of it it's just annoying uh but so uh so real quick i just a little bit of breaking news right here definitely check out meta those channel um he uh he knows the new tenacity levels are going to be seeing for these bosses he does know <laughs> he's he's yeah He's uh he's he's planning on releasing a video late uh or at least publishing it later today. Okay. Um. So definitely keep an eye on that BADC uh, yep. website. And there's and a link. Channel. There's a link in the description. I always link all his stuff. His site is amazing. Everybody yeah. goes there. I go there. He goes there. He's a great guy. Reach out to him on Discord. Um. I normally wouldn't. I would. I normally wouldn't tell you to go and you know. You can always spend your money however you want. But I. I was. Pay, I'm a Patreon to him because it's great stuff. You get some good access there. Go. Go do that if you. If you feel it's necessary. But yep. so I do. We'll see, I really like we'll it. We'll see what these new levels are you know if these levels are like um if these are crazy bonkers like where if you're putting a one tenacity set in tenacity primary and even a gear 11 where so you're sitting at like 60 percent on some of these characters um if they say it's like well it's 85 percent, it's like oh well crap you know it might be right we'll see how rough it is but so hold yeah, off the last 
Yeah, hold yeah, off hold, on that hold for off sure. On going in on too crazy in your Robin bads and your fouls, at least for the moment. The Robin not um, so bad as I called him yesterday. The Robin not it, so bad. Yeah, yeah. He, but he's still Robin bad. Let's just say he's, he's Robin bad. He's he's also Han Solo. <laughs> he he uh, If you look at his kit, if you look at his like literally, it's a, it's he two kind of is reduction on basic, right? And then he's got the a it's, it's AOE versus stun, so like that one not as much. But then his buff. But he doesn't get to shoot first. He doesn't damage. get to shoot first. I he wish he did. Get to shoot. He's not Han Solo. Why would okay. he get to shoot So first? I made a huge mistake. Okay. I made a huge mistake when I was playing the game because I got Robin Bad and a, a, one of my pulls and that sort of He's one of my first seven star characters. Um, it's kind of a funny story. And I look at his basic. And this is when I first started playing. I look at his basic and it says, basic cannot be dodged. And I went, oh, Kenley, I'm going to kill you with Robin Bad. No, no, he sucks so bad. I was not able to yeah. kill him. But it was not dodgeable. And at the moment, Ken Lee was like the he was right, the, the bane tank. of my existence and I couldn't kill him and it took forever and I was like I'll just level him up and he'll never he won't miss it and no that was bad don't don't do that but I do have him and that's kind of the interesting thing is like I have a lot of these characters it probably wouldn't take it would take some resources but within a couple of weeks I could have this team on my main account and I'm glad I've hesitated because it sounds like this is going to be corrected which as we've said before I think it should be because it you know it's bad for the game um and that sort of stuff so what are, what do we got coming on to your channel soon you got some you got some plans to make some new videos and that sort of thing what can we see coming up yeah so for me uh the things I'm looking at are I've um, main thing I've had people ask me about is uh, I keep on getting asked about, Hey, like what kind of sets should I put? Because it's mostly with Ember, right? That 30% chance to dispel is fantastic. And people are saying, well, what if I put potency runes on there? I'm like, that's not how potency works. Right. You know? Uh, so I'm thinking about making a video about that. Um, well, let's talk and... about that for a second. Cause I mentioned that in my videos too, cause I've gotten the same comment and we, we actually, one of the, one of the very first conversations we had, um, right. about, about making a video together was about this exact subject was how does potency actually work? How does some of these things right. work? And I'd so love to have think... that video. I'd love to have that video, you know, make a kind of a, a more in-depth guide, in depth, but right. so everybody understands, right if you have a base chance to land something, that's your hit chance. And, and, and he can break down the numbers for you. And then there's a potency and uh, tenacity yeah, the potency, breakdown. Yeah. The potency yeah. check comes after. So, right. you know, just, just think of it like you've got an Illyria, right. That's a uh, ability level four on her basic. She has a 60% chance to apply that um, potency decrease. Right. So whenever, when you have that 60% chance, that's the, that's the chance that it's going to even try Hit. to apply that. Right. And I, right. and yeah, I look at it this way. Like I look at it as hitting. You have a 60% chance, chance to hit, right. right? If you don't hit, you don't apply. If you do hit, oh. you go potency and tenacity check. Um, right. And that's how, that's how that works. And I've kind of made it right. very simple. I try to make things. That's kind of what I do for a living as a, as an attorney. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I do that I can't explain to anyone else. Uh, and, and my job, is to explain it to other people and so right. what i have to do in my own job in my personal life is i have to learn to break these things down and make them very easy for people and the easiest way to think of it is you have a if it's a 35 percent chance, chance hit, you have a chance to hit and then potency and tenacity come into effect and so right. you have so to not, keep that in mind you can't in, right you cannot increase that 30 percent chance to dispel buffs right. that's if you could that would make her crazy op and she would 100 percent be that fifth she, slot well she would be character. darth silas right or you know darth scion sorry i mean darth scion, scion it yeah. has the ability to strip buffs off of everybody boom just does and it considering considering that right now the one defense against nightyl is aoe buffs right you know now you have aoe buff removal like that's not a defense anymore so um right. yeah that could be very, very bad. And I think that that's a good thing. I think these, I think the developers in this game really understand what it takes to try to make a balanced game, even though yeah. I think that, you know, Nighty L's very, she's very annoying to a she's, certain extent because yeah. everybody's pairing a Rosolius. Oh, RNG, give me well, a break. Right. And, and it, anytime you have 
anytime you have somebody who has an RNG, when RNG is involved, you're just going to find where sometimes you're just screwed. You, you go, screwed. You, I'm in tournaments and right now everybody puts in 90 L. Like if they have, if four characters have to be involved, 90 L is the fifth. And the fifth. of course she should be. She's the MVP. She's the best character in the game at the moment. The um, MVP. Yeah. That's what I, I, you know, and so, but I, I sometimes go, does she even remove a buff? did that happen did she which rebuff did she remove i've seen right, her there's I've, so many out right, there yeah. or you know the you know i've seen people with rantha lately they'll rantha drops the battle poo or what as i call her the bear of the bear of the maiden fair right she she <laughs> drops she drops battle poo and then trumgar taunts and then you're like okay what taunt's going to be removed because right, it seems like one, taunt is yeah. what it's going to be removed. Is it going to be Trumgar? Is it going to be Battle Poo? Or is it going to be somebody else? Is it going to, you know, do someone else's? Or if your Nighty L's too fast, like in mine, my, she tends to be faster than my opponent's. So she goes mm-hmm. first, she puts up her buff, and then their guy goes. And I, re- one of my guys loses tenacity. Yeah, so do I want to look at the speed? Circums- or do, sometimes, uh, do I, yeah. Yeah, you got to figure out who you're going after because. My Kyra is pretty fast. There's only a couple Kyras that are faster than mine in my arena shard. Um, and those couple that are actually faster, and I change from if I if I'm if I have the faster Kyra, I try to ability block the Tromgar. And if their Kyra is faster than mine, these couple people, I actually try and ability block Kyra. So yeah, sometimes being slower can actually be advantageous because if you hit, if I had hit Kyra whenever I'm faster, she's actually only really going to be ability block for two turns because her first turn she could only use her basic anyway. Right. You know. But now I'm making it so. Oh no, she was going to use back to back specials, and now she's stuck on basics, and she's right. probably just smacking Tromgar. No invisibility is going to go out, so they all have the chance to get stunned. Like it, you you do have to kind of play it a little because sometimes it is circumstantially better to be a little slower than the opponents character but overall obviously you should just kind of try and be fast have have better yeah have faster have better uh, yeah it's well and better. i don't know about you but i always feel like when i'm trying to use kara if kara's on the battlefield if kara's on the battlefield and night on the battlefield the moment i invis her all right she pops up out of stealth and i'm like really right. and that's the whole that's like her whole thing she needs that invisibility to do to her do the extra damage, extra damage. Yeah. and so i'm just like ah and it and it happens very often so would you have any other things that you plan on doing for your next videos? So, so um, uh, I just put on one and like, a, I've been doing what I'm doing right now. It's kind of a smaller one, uh, but it just takes a couple of days for me to gather the videos is uh, people ask me a lot how to, uh, how to stash your towers so that you can get the maximum number done right. uh, during that, that guild activity. Um, I, it's, I know some things like you explain it on in the, with like text and it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't make I sense. Need to just, yeah. Right. I really, it would be help me if I see it. So I'm recording some video over the next few days in order to be able to, um, to Do make that. a video showing that like, Hey, so here's what it looks like after I finish doing three towers in a day for uh, my guild activity. Right. Here's what, it, here's how I set it up from there. How does that work? So that's the next one that I think will be coming out here. Um, and after that, we'll just kind of, I, I have a list of things. Um, that's great. Back on my, can, yeah, that's well, my that, desktop. But. That sounds great. That sounds great. Everybody, if you, like I said, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, go to the description below, go to Carnifax's uh, video, nerd this, go to his channel, subscribe, hit your notifications bell, leave him some comments. I know the video is a little bit longer, but we kind of decided to do this more I'm of a pad, no, as a podcast sort of quarter uh, thing because we're talking about the game, we're talking about the thing yeah. that we love, and this is our hobby, and this is what we do. Um, and I really, really enjoy it, and I really thank you for taking the time to come onto my channel and talk, uh, give yeah, me your expertise, give me that sort of thing. I really do appreciate it, guys. Coming from me here, uh, I got a lot of feedback from. From you out there going hey i want to see i want to see other content creators interact with you and that sort of stuff i've got a lot of that in my live stream they're here you guys keep asking you ask and i will deliver the best you of my ability right um asking thou shall we'll receive right maybe i mean but it's going to be really good i do have um another video that hopefully to be coming down i'm going to be meeting with uh uh zary from zary's mobile gaming as well um we're yeah. going to talk uh, as well and get his thoughts about his channel and the things that are coming
coming up. Um, so don't miss that either. And I really do appreciate you guys, all the support and love. I did hit 300 subscribers. I did hit 300 subscribers earlier today. I think that number has gone up. I really do appreciate it. I can't tell you guys how much I do. Um, all the love, all the support, and anything that we may be able to help you out with. But if you are new around here again, just hit go and support. Go and support my man here. Uh, go and support Zary when we talk about our video as well. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect. See you.